Medrash tells us if someone is tempted to say a Lashon Hara or a snide remark and he controls himself, he's privileged to an Or HaGonaz, She'en Malach Ubir Yechayim L'Sha'er, to an unfathomable light. Obviously, we can't comprehend what this light is all about. But if I could give you a little of an idea to make it more of an incentive, think about the following question. Since the Chavetz Chaim published his first work close to 150 years ago, how many millions of hours were spent learning the Heilu Gesefer Chafetz Chaim? Another question. Since he published the Mishnah Bura, how many millions of hours were spent learning, probing, analyzing, extrapolating, debating every word of the Chafetz Chaim in Mishnah Bura? G'doylem, as great as the Orach HaShulchan, the Chazay Nish, Rabbi Yishef Feinstein, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman, the Efshel of Fartam Kirabim Haim, too many to mention, delved into the words of the Chafetz Chaim. Maybe the Chafetz Chaim was and continues to be that Or Haganus that it's illuminating the world. Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky once told me that he believes, La because of the Chafetz Chaim's purity of speech, he was Zaycha to an unprecedented Siaita Dishmaya that you could learn his sefer like you learn a Rishon, and be medayik from every word, l'halacha. Maybe the Chafetz Chaim sefer is that or gunners that's lighting up the world. The Chazanish writes in a letter that the accepted sack that we live on is based on the Shulchan Aruch, Magan Avram, and Mishnah Bura, Kemoimi Pi Sanhedrin. I ask you, isn't the Chafetz Chaim's work that or Haganus? And this is only one aspect. But let me ask you another question. Was there ever a Seifa that had such a remarkable impact on learning and knowing and observing the Dvar Hashem Zu Halacha, as the Gemara describes it? Its unique format that is custom-made and suited for the greatest Talmud Chacham, 
to the simplest person who are thirsting to know the Dvar Hashem, the Mishnebura, is that our Godel that's illuminating the Olam HaToyra, the Olam Halacha, and making Shulchan Aruch or Achayim available and accessible to every single year on every single level. And now, on this evening of vision and inspiration, let us allow these Gedoyle Torah, who are addressing us this evening, Rabbi Baruch Mordechai Azrachi, Rabbi Shimon Galei, Rabbi Yaakov Hillel, Rabbi David Hofstede, Rabbi Nissen Kaplan, they should inspire us to make that commitment on this very momentous evening. And now we'll be zayich to hear from Rav Nissen Kaplan, Rosh Hashiva of Das Arain. We're standing in the special day, the Yolzeit of the Chofetz Chaim. Chofetz Chaim is one of the Achroinim and the last generation that changed Klal Yisrael. And he took out a lot of Sforim. Two main Sforim is one Chofetz Chaim, Shmira Saloshen, and Hilchis Chofetz Chaim. And the other one, Mishneh Brure. Chofetz Chaim, at the same time, was Mechaber Likute Aloches and Kolchim. Was Mechaber Sforim and all different Inyanim. But I want to focus a little bit about the two Sforim that changed Klal Yisrael. Shmira Saloshen, Chofetz Chaim. And Mishneh Brure, Halochas, Halochas Lemaise, Rabbi Yisai. Everyone knows that the Chofetz Chaim was the honor of She'ein Kedug Mosoy. Shofol She'ein Kedug Mosoy. But you know what the Chofetz Chaim did? He would go around from city to city to sell the Chofetz Chaim, to sell the Mishneh Brure. I'll tell you a story that was published recently Chofetz Chaim would go from city to city and sell the Chofetz Chaim. And then he went from city to city to sell the Mishnah Brure. And the Mishnah Brure came out volumes, one after each other, Chelek Aleph, Chelek Gimel, all different Chalokim. And he went to a city and he sold the Chofetz Chaim. Was someone Cohen that did not have money to pay him? He told him, Be'ez Hashem, next time when I come. It was a couple years later, he came with the second volume, the next volume, and he came over to this person, Cohen, and he said, the guy wanted to buy the new Chofetz Chaim, the new Chelek Dalet. Chofetz Chaim told him, but you owe me yet for Chelek Gimel? He said, I don't know, I paid. Chofetz Chaim said, you didn't pay me. The guy said, I paid. Okay. Then the Chofetz Chaim went to another city, and the guy, Cohen, comes over to him, Rebbe, I want to buy Chelek Dalet, but I owe you for Chelek Gimel. Chofetz Chaim realized that he mixed up the Koyen with the Koyen. He traveled back to the first city to Mephias. This was the Chofetz Chaim. But I'm not coming out to say stories on the Chofetz Chaim. Rabbi Yisai, Moireinu HaChofetz Chaim that changed Klal Yisrael by writing Mishneh Brure Aloche Lemaise to take it down to Melaket Aloche Lemaise for every person. Went from city to city. That the Chofetz Chaim, the Mishneh Brure, will be nichnas bechol mekoimis Yisroel. And he was matriach bitl teirev hours. That Mishneh Brure will go into Gantz Klal Yisroel. And he had siyat ha-mishmai. We are in a generation that we have Mishneh Brure. We have it in every shelf. We have it with all different meforshim. Look at the beautiful job that Dirshu did. With Mavteiches. We have the Mishnah Bure so close, so easy for us to come over to it. We have to be like the Chofetz Chaim, not to travel from city to city, but to go to the Shafet, to the Oren, to take out the Mishnah Bure. To open the Mishnah Bure. We only are asking the Chofetz Chaim, after he written the Sefer, but he went from city to city, that Klal Yisrael will learn it. We are the people now that we have the Mishnah Bure. What is asked from us? Go start to learn the Mishnah Brure every day. Kol ha'ishoy ne'alocho is bechol yoyim. Muvtach loy. Shubenoy lo mabo. People look for zgules. 
כל השוינה הלוכריס בכל יום, מובטח לו אישו בן אילום הבו. מי או איש החופץ חיים, נצור לשוין חומרו. מי או איש חופץ חיים, if a person can make a quiz, in the Mishnah Brure, in Shmira Salosin, in the Alochis von the Chofetz Chaim, from the Sefer Chofetz Chaim and Shmira Salosin, this is unser Esgule, today, and the Yod Sefer von the Chofetz Chaim, when the Neshome comes down to the Echolois, and in that day it's Mashpia, if we want to have Sheikh, as I stated in Svorim HaKdoshim, if you want to have a Hashpoi from one of the Gdoilim, if you need back Bedrochov, He's melamez chus. Maybe we'll take on ourselves in these days. The Chofetz Chaim will be a melitz yoisher. A kvies in Mishneh Brure. A seder in Mishneh Brure. A seder yoimi in Mishneh Brure. A seder yoimi in Chofetz Chaim. A shmir asaloshen. And we'll be zoichem yoish a Chofetz Chaim. Netzor l'shoin chomero. Kol ha'shoin ha'alochis b'chol yoim. Muftach lo'i. Shehu ben o'ilom abo. Now we'll be zoichet to hear from our Baruch Mordechai Ezrachi, Rosh Hashiva of Ateres Yisrael. Ayom azeh, yom ayorzeit shalachom eschayim, zechei tzadik levochor misromei rakein. 
צריך לזכור שיש לנו מליץ ישר נאמן וטוב בשמיים. מי הוא? מי הוא אם לא החובץ חיים? אבל במיוחד הוא מליץ ישר וטוב לאלה שבאמת משתדלים לעקוב אחרי כל הפעילויות שלו, של החובץ חיים עצמו. הרי הוא, זכינו לברוך, הוא שינה ממש את סדר האנשים בבריאה. אמנם הדברים שהוא מגלה הם דברים שידועים ומפורסמים מאז ומתומית, אבל הוא הכניס אותם על סדר היום. הוא זה שדיבר בכל לב, עשה ספרים, ערך מערכות והלכות לשנורא. זה הוא, לא מישהו אחר. מי היה כל כך טוב ודואג לישראל מכל הבחינות כמו הסבא קדישא היה חופץ חיים. וזה היורצן של החופץ חיים. האם לא זהו הזמן? אני לא מבין אם שהמעקב וההליכה לפי התוויות דרך שהוא התווה לנו, יש להם זכות עצומה כדי להשתנות במשך החיים ולהיות במשך החיים, כדי להיכתב בספר החיים, כדי לדעת איך להתנהג. כדי שהמשפחות שלנו יעמדו על בסיס איתן יותר וטוב יותר, מוצק יותר, חשוב יותר ומצליח יותר. מי אם לא החופץ חיים? מה רצה החופץ חיים? הוא רצה שיהיה שגור על פיך. תדע, תדע תמיד, יש דברים שאסור שיהיו להם מגע עם הפה שלך. ויש דברים שצריכים להיות תמיד שגורים על פיך, תמיד שגורים על פיך, על פיך, תורה, לימוד תורה, עמקות התורה, מצוות התורה, מידות התורה, המידות המיוחדות. ומה שהחלק הלווין, זה שהוא מסר נפשו כל ימי חייו. איסו לו שנורא, לא לדבר כל הדברים האלה, לא להיכשל בהם. עשות יודע איך להכשיל בני אדם. לא, הם אפילו לא יודעים שהם נכשלים ולא שנורא. זה הקונט של עשות. אבל אנחנו צריכים לגלה את הערומות שלו. לכן כדאי ללמוד על הספרים של אנחנו צריכים. כדי לגלות את הערומות של לעשות, איך הוא יכול, איך הוא משריש, איך הוא מכניס, איך הוא מבריג בתוך מהלך החיים את כל היישום של הלשנורא. אבל אם אנחנו לומדים את הספרים שלו, אם אנחנו לומדים את הספרים שלו, כל הספרים שלו זה ספרים שדואגים לכלל ישראל, דואגים לי ולך ולו. על המשפחה שלו, על המשפחה שלך, על המשפחה של כולנו, המשפחות של כולנו. אינני יודע אם יש לו חבר ורע על הזה סבא קדישא בעניין זה. הדורות האחרונים צריכים לבקש מהסבא קדישא שיהיה מליץ ישר. ומי שיש לו אוזניים יכול לשמוע איך שהסבא קדישא עומד ואומר לו, ודאי שאני מליץ ישר עליך. אבל תן לי את, ה, את, ה, את העוצמה, את העוז. איך? תלמד את ההלכות ותקיים אותן. תלמד משנה ברורה. יש את הקודש של דירשו, מפעל אדירים של הלוך היומיס, משנה ברורה. דבר נפלא. תתרגל בהלכות. תיזהר באיסור לשונורא. תדאג לך, לזולתך, תהיה טוב עם אנשים, תשפץ את מידותיך, תהיה בעל מוסר. אלו הם הדברים שאני יוצא מפינו בשמו של החופץ חיים, כאילו הוא עומד לפנינו ואומר לנו, קינדרלך, 
ככה טוב לכם ויקל עליי לבקש מן השמיים בשבילכם טוב. וכך יהיה קל לנו לקבל בעזר השם יזבוח, כסיב וכסיב וטיבו, נעמוד בדין, וכל כלל ישראל יבוש עד שועס אילומים, וכל אחד בפרט יבשע מכל נגע ומחלו, מכל צור וצוקו, מכל נגע ומחלו עוד הפעם. יבושע. וטובו עליו, על משפחתו ועל כולנו. תיבה וברוכו ברוח ובגשם, לשנות תיבה ניקוסה וניחוסה ולאלתר לחיים תיבים ארוכים ולשולם. Now we'll be zeichet to hear from Rabbi David Hafstetter, Nasi of Dirsu. Chof Dalad El, the day is before Rosh Hashanah, 
Klal Yisrael coming together to daven the Rebbeinu Shalom to beseech the Rebbeinu Shalom for Exiv Chsima Toiva, Ashnaz Gula Yeshua, Chav Daladel, the yard side of the Chavetz Chaim's Chusu Yogen Aleinu. What an incredible opportunity. What an incredible opportunity to come together. Mumkin to Liba, to daven to the Rebbeinu Shalom. He should bench us all with Exiv Chsima Toiva, a good Gazuntyur, a Gebenchtyur. With Bruch of Atzloch and Nachas and Simcha and Shbishnaz Gula Vishuva Klal Yisrael. But we know that with every incredible opportunity, it comes with an Nisoyen. That is the situation of our lives of Klal Yisrael. That every opportunity, every opportunity that's presented to us comes with an Nisoyen. And perhaps. Perhaps we may feel that we've been here before. We've been here before davening, before Rosh Hashanah, and our lives have not changed. And the Mats of Klal Yisrael has not changed. That's the Derech of the Satan. He injects into us a feeling of yush, a feeling of lethargy, of despondency, a feeling of cynicism, that's the derech of the Satan. And our tafkit, our tafkit is to overcome all of those feelings, all of those challenges that the Satan sets before us and continue to strive from the depths of our heart, continue to strive and go higher and higher. David Melach says, in the Dovr Hashem, Moere Lulea, Hemanti Luris Petuva Shem Beretz Chaim Lulei Zok the Balatur Lulei A Rashi Tev is El A Red Back Rizavad Melch says If not for the Betochen I had in the Rabbeinu Shalai My enemies would have crushed me The challenges that are before us But we have to have Betochen and the Rabbeinu Shalai Continue to have Betochen and the Rabbeinu Shalai Even when we're faced Even when we're faced With challenges The various sorts of challenges that are set before us Kavei El Hashem Chazai V'yamis Libech V'kavei El Hashem Continue to have trust in Hashem, to cry out to Hashem, to have faith in Hashem, again and again. And even when we seem to have no koyach, that is the situation of our lives. That's the human condition. The great Yirmiyahu and Novi, Rabbi Nishalom says, before you were created, before you were created, you were predestined to be a Novi Yisrael. You were predestined to be a Novi Umasa Oilam. What does Yirmiyahu say? He says, Oh Hashem, Loi Uchal Daber Ki Nar Anoichi. I can't speak, I'm just a Nar. Incredible. Pile Ployim, incredible. The great Yirmiyahu and Novi. Predestined, it's tough kid in life. It's tachless in the breed to be a Novi. And he says, I can't do it. I can't do it. That is the human condition. Sometimes we have the greatest kaychas. Sometimes the greatest, the greatest abilities. Sometimes it's what we're created to do and to be. And then Satan says and encourages us to think that we can't do it. We're just a nar. That's the human condition. The nisyonis that we have. Overcoming the Satan. Who greater than Elio and Novi? Novi Elio and Novi killed out the Navi Baal. And he became a fugitive. He was pursued by the wicked Achav and Izevli. He ran into the Midbar. He ran into the Midbar. He had no food and no water. It was scorching heat. And he cried out to Hashem. He said, I'm not better than my forefathers. There's no purpose anymore to live. The Malach Hashem opened his eyes and he saw the food and the water. And he ate and drank and he rested. And then the Malach said, it's not time to rest now. Now is not the time to rest. Kum, achol, get up and eat. He ate. And then, vayelach b'koyach ha'achila. He araboim yoyim v'araboim laila. He thought it was all over. The koyach of that achila for 40 days and 40 nights, he came into the Ma'ara, which Chazal say is a nikras hatsur, where Moshe Rabbeinu heard the Yud Gimel Midas, and he spoke to the Rebbeinu Shaloylam. The Rebbeinu Shalom charged him with the mission to be Meishach Melech Aram, to be Meishach Melech Yisrael, and to be Meishach Elisha, to be his successor and Novel Yisrael. And then, 
he became like a Malach Hashem and he was Oilo Lishamayim. After he thought that life had no more potential and no more opportunity and no more purpose, the greatest achievements, the greatest accomplishments of all. When he thought the journey was over, the journey had just begun. When we think that we can't, when we think that we're an arm, when we think that life's accomplishments are already over, we lay on Yom Kippur, after Yaina, twice Yaina Novi says, Toiv Moisi Mechaye, better death than life. It seemed to be a failure. Life seemed to be a failure. He was a novel Yisrael, the tough kid was. To Machsa Klal Yisrael, with Shuva, be male to Yeshua Klal Yisrael. And look, here it seems to be that he was a, a kitter for Klal Yisrael. All these years, he was trying to be machzad mitshuva, and they didn't listen. Now he goes to Ninveh, the city of the Umas Oilam, and they do listen, and they fast, and they do listen. They were chayzer mitshuva, and now Klal Yisrael seemed to be a failure. But Mamakam, when it seems to be a failure, we strive more, we have to strive more and more. Because our very existence, the Radak says, is a kovat shem shamayim. And certainly, listening to the Rebbein L'Shalem, under those matzavim, with those nisyainas, that's the greatest kovat shem shamayim. And perhaps that is really the ultimate success. Striving in the face of failure and continuing to strive, that is really the defining moment of success. Dr. Chadush Arim that Yaakov Avinu struggled with Malach HaShalesov until finally the Malach gave him a brocha and called him Yisrael. Why, Kisarisa, you struggled? Imalakim v'anoshim v'atuchal. So why wasn't he called v'atuchal? You overcame, you accomplished. Why isn't he called success? It's called Yisrael because the greatest success is Yisrael, Sarisa, the struggle. The struggle to overcome the forces of Ra, of evil, of Esau, that is the greatest success, the Sarisa. That's why we are Yisroel. That is the purpose of our life, to keep on striving, to keep on going higher and higher in the face of all challenges and obstacles. Gemara and Bracha says that Tzadikim ein lemenuch loyim ho'ilam azev, loyim haba, vayechum echayel echayel, they keep going, rising higher and higher. And the Rishayim and the Mepharshim say because they have a greater perception, Elam Menucha, they go higher and higher with a greater perception of Rabbi Nishalam, a greater understanding of Tyra, a greater closeness to Hashem, Zakta Shlah Kodesh, but every time they're about to go to a higher Madrega, to rise higher, they're brought to Din and they're judged. Did you strive in Oilam Hazen? Did you strive in Oilam Hazed to go higher? And to the extent that they did not have Menucha Oilam Hazed, they will not have Menucha Oilam Hazed, they'll keep going higher until they get to the ultimate place of rest. Lulei Haimanti Liris Betuva Hashem Be'eretz Chaim. Sometimes, if we don't see the result of our struggle in Oilam Hazed, we'll surely see it in Oilam Hazed. That's the challenge of our lives. Both my parents were Holocaust survivors. My wife's parents were Holocaust survivors. They lived through the time of the Kishon age, of the burning sun and the heat without food, without water. So much was lost, so many were lost. And there were those who gave up and did not have any hope, but not all. And some continued to have hope. Even in the face of that tragedy, of that despondency. And they did not have use. And from the ashes, from the ashes of the Holocaust, sprung hope eternal and built on the foundation of those ashes was the Oil of Matayra and Kovach Shem Shemaim that we see today. And that is our Tafkir. That is Kali Yisrael. Sarisa, the struggle. In the face of obstacles, in the face of despondency, when we seem to feel that there is no hope and no Kayach, and certainly, when we do see hope, 
and Koyach to continue to strive higher. Let's seize this opportunity. The days before Rosh Hashanah, Klal Yisrael, coming together, let us, with our whole lev and nefesh, seek the Rebbe Yisrael and strive to go higher, to come closer, closer to each other, closer to the Rebbe Yisrael. Kaveh l'Hashem chazak v'yamets libech v'kaveh al Hashem, despite what other obstacles there may be. And we should be zaycha. Lira is v'tu Hashem b'eretz chayim. She tu Hashem with the gilek v'ed shechina this year. The Vias Goyal be meher be yamenu amen. As we travel through the night A promise of what will lay ahead There in Radin A few hundred on the way To a most auspicious day It's the earth side of the Rebbe There in Radin When we landed it was late Taking buses through the gate Destination up ahead There in Radin Then the darkness dissipates Morning sunshine in its place We arrive and disembark There in Radin The Gidai As we enter the base of Chayim, there in Radin, words of chizuk, we're inspired. The gedolim are on fire. As we open our tehillim, there in Radin, our tears mix with the rain, screaming, "Rebel, your nations in pain." Yet we leave behind our hearts At the cavern of the Rebbe There in Radin Now we're walking across sodden fields As the thunder and rain start to yield And the sun shining bright through the clouds There in Radin you 
eternity And now we'll be zayichet to hear from Rav Shimon Galei, Mashpia, and Rosh Kailal in Eretz Yisrael. Merashi b'parshas ha'shavua katuv af shavua shavar katuv leisuchal. Merashi, what is leisuchal? No yecholim. Merashi, no suchal la kavana en charashai. Achovetzchayim akadosh zechat tzadik vekodesh levroche. ‫היא הנחיל לנו מורשת אחרת. ‫הוא הביא לנו והדריך את העם שאפשר. כל מיני, כל, ‫כל מיני דברים שהיו צריכים חיזוק ‫בכל שטח שהוא בדת, ‫החופץ חיים הקדוש, ‫אם זה היה שמיר עשה לושם, ‫עשה שולחון אורך על כל דבר. ‫על דברים שלא היה על זה דברים מסודרים. ‫היו מדרשי חז"ל, ‫אבל לא היה על זה שולחון אורך. ‫וככה זה בכל, 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 בכל מיני דברים, ‫אבס חסד, שמירה סלושן, ‫אם זה תרע סבייס, ‫אם זה שהוא היה אז לחיילים בצבא, כל מיני, כל, ‫כל מיני דברים רוחניים ש... הדברים לא היו מסודרים, ואנחנו אצלך הקדוש עשה בזה שולחון אור בכל דבר. בזה רואים שיהודי צריך לרצות. אם אדם רוצה, אז הוא נהיה יכול. ההגדרה יכול או לא יכול, זה תלוי ברצון. ידוע כמה חופץ חיים עבד על המשנה ברורה, כי הוא ראה שהדור שה... נהיה יותר קשה, החיים נהיים יותר, היום בדור שלנו זה עוד יותר קיצורים על קיצורים, אבל החופץ חיים ראה שבדור שלו כבר, אם לא יהיה משנה ברור שולחנוך מסודר, אז יהיה רפיון גדול, כי יש המון אחרונים וקשה לכל אחד להגיע לכל מקום. ורואים מה, מכל ההנהגה הזאת מה יכול אדם לעשות אם הוא רק רוצה. אם יש רק רצון, אז יש סייעתא דשמיא, וסייעתא דשמיא שהיה ויש לו חופץ חיים, זה למעלה מהשגת אנוש. הספרים שלו כל כך מקובלים. הספרים שלו... הפך לאבן יסוד בכל, בכל בית יהודי, לא שייך שבית יהודי יהיה בלי משנה ברורה, גם לא בלי חופץ חיים. אז זו זכות גדולה מאוד שאנחנו צריכים ל, ללמוד מזה, מה יש באפשרותנו, כמה אפשר לזכות את הורבים. רואים את זה באמת גם בזה שדירשו עשו את הלימוד ההלוכה, כשעושים סדר בדברים ויש, ככה זה בן אדם, בן אדם צעיר, אדם כשרואה, קורא את כל המשנה ברורה, אז הוא לא חושב, איך אני, מתי אני אגמור את הכל? אבל כשמפרקים את זה לפרטים, כל יום ללמוד הלכה, שניים, ‫לכן גם אמרו, ‫כל השן הלוחס בכל יום. ‫שבכל בכל, בכל הדברים הרוחניים, ‫אז אין... ‫לא מגיעים בבת אחת, ‫אלא כל יום קצת, ‫וכויבץ על יד ירבה. ‫אז זה באמת הזכות הגדולה ‫של החופץ חיים, ש... 
כל יהודי יכול בקצרה ללמוד את, ה, את כל, כל הפויסקי הלוחס שהיה עד הזמן של החופץ חיים, וכיוון שאחרי החופץ חיים התחדשו המון דברים שזה לא היה בזמן החופץ חיים, אז זה גם זכות של דירשו שהם הכניסו את הדברים המעשיים, שזה יהיה מוירת דרך לכל יהודי, ודאי שיהודי לא צריך להסתפק בלימוד של משנה ברורה, אנחנו אברכים צריכים ללמוד את הטור, את השולחון אורך, את הדברים היסודות, אבל כיוון שלא לכל אחד יש את הזמן לזה, אז אחר כך חופץ חיים הקדוש, ואנחנו זוכים ליהנות מפרי ידיו של החופץ חיים, שכל יהודי באשר הוא שם, נהייתי באיזה מקום, ולא היה להם משנבו לידי. אז מי אז קיבלתי, בלי נדר, קיבלתי על עצמי שאני לא הולך בלי משנבו. כי... יהודי נתקל ב... בהלכה, זה היה בשבת, פוסלים את המשנה בורא, מוירת דרך. זה המוירת דרך שלנו, השולחון ערוך, זה המוירת דרך שלנו, בכל, בכל, חלק, בכל חלק בחיים. אז מזה צריכים ללמוד שני דברים. א', שאם רוצים יכולים. וכמובן שזה בא לא, בכל, לא בקלות. זה לא בקלות, לא גודלים בפעם אחת, אלא עובר, אנחנו צריכים לבד איזה 28 שנה. אז אנחנו באמת נתחזק בזה, כי לימוד ההלוך הזה, זה אמור את דרך של כל יהודי. זה אמור את דרך שלנו. שהקדוש ברוך הוא יעזור שנזכה בעזר השם להמשיך ולהתחזק. בלימוד ההלוכה, שזה היסוד של כל יהודי באשר הוא שם.
And now we're going to hear from Rav Yaakov Hillel, Rosh Hashivas, Mekubolim, Abba Sholem. So nothing could be more advantageous than at this special time to remember the Gaon, the Hafez Chaim, the Gaon Hasid, who did so much to benefit Klal Israel. First and foremost, his great work is the Mishnah Brura, or a Haim, which is a, a halachic sefer accepted and studied in all the communities of the world, whether Ashkenazim or Sephardim. Because of the fact that he explains the sources of the opinion of the Mechaber of the Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Yosef Karo, and the sources of the Ramo, who made the notes on the Shulchan Aruch of Rabbi Yosef Karo. And to explain each one of them on which opinion he built his psak. And uh, in this sense, no one can learn Shulchan Aruch unless he's unless he is uh, using the explanations of Mish Mishnah Brura. There's a story that once someone came to the Hazunish and asked the Maharacha, and the Hazunish replied that the Mishnah Brura gave this psak concerning this Halakha. So this person said, oh, the Mishnah Brura, oh, he's a barabait, a barabos. So the Hazuni says, yes, you're right. He's a barabos al kola toira kula. His other most famous book is Hafez uh, Haim itself. He's called after that, the Hafez Haim. This is a book on one topic of Lashon Hara, to speak evil, or evil about others. And, he, and it's, I mean, unbelievable how he delved into this topic in such depth and, and explained many, many aspects of this halakha which no one was aware of. It's a masterpiece of a, of a book on this topic of Rashon Hara. Besides that, he wrote maybe 25 or 30 small sfarim in each area where he saw that Am Yisrael needed chizu, whether it was learning Torah, whether it was giving tzedakah, whether it's uh, uh, kashrut, to eat kosher, whether it's uh, modest clothes for women, and so on and so on, on every single topic, which is uh, where there is ne negligence in the general public, he wrote a special sefer to strengthen them. Even at the time, there were Jewish boys forced to um, enroll in the army. And, uh, and he wrote a book to guide them what, how they should eat, what, how they should behave about Shabbat and everything. So his whole mind was always upon Klal Israel and to make known to Klal Israel all that they have to know, each individual, wherever his place is, whatever his situation is, that he'll find in the, in the writings of the Hafez Haim, guidance and uh, halakha uh, to know how to serve Hashem under those conditions. So the merit of the Hafez Haim in all generations since he passed away, from generation to generation, until our generation and onwards, is something we cannot imagine and cannot understand. And for sure, it's very, very recommendable that someone now who is involved in doing tshuva during these days of repentance, how, how recommendable it would be if they find time to learn some of the Hafez Haim's books on different topics so that they can come to Rosh Hashanah ready to, to repent and do the will of Hashem.
עכשיו נגיד שתי פרקי תהילים לזכות הלומדים, לזכות הנשאים, כל אלה שעוזרים במפעל הקדוש הזה, ובמיוחד הרב רב דוד אופקסר, ש... שימשיך הלאה, ל... שיוכל להמשיך הלאה במפעל הקדוש הזה. כמו שהחופץ חיים היה... הוא הראה שאפשר אם רוצים, אז הרב דוד גם מראה לנו שאם רוצים אפשר. אז אנחנו נגיד פרק, פרק, שתי פרקי תהילים לזכות הלומדים, לזכות כל, כל האויסקים במפעל הקדוש הזה, ובעזר השם נזבורך נזכה ל, לכל טוב. שיר המעלויס ממעמקים כל שיחה אדוי נובוי. אדוי נוי, שימו בקוילי. תהיה נו אוזניך קשוב בויס, לכל תחת מונו בוי. אם אבוי נויס תשמור יו, אדוי נוי מי אמו בויס. כי אמחו אצליחו למען תבורי, כי ביסי אדוי נוי, כי ביסו נפשי, ולדבורו יכולתי. נפשי לדוי נוי, משומרים לבויקר, שומרים לבויקר. יחי ישראל לדוי נוי, כי מדוי נוי החסד, והרבה עמו יפדוס, והוא יבדס ישראל מכוי לבוי נוי סוב. שיר למעלוי ששו עיניי אל ההרים. מאין יבוא עזרי, עזרי מאים אדוני נוי, אוי זה שמיים בארץ, אל יצאי ואמור את רגליך, אל ינום שמרך, הנה לא ינום ולא יישן, שמר ישראל, אדוני נוי שמרך, אדוני נוי צלחו על יד ימיניך. יום יום השמש לא יככו, ויורח בלוי לו. אדוני נוי, ישמורכו מכל רוע, ישמור את נפשכו. אדוני נוי, ישמור צא ישחו ויבויכו, מהטוב ועד לא ילום. משבי לך ביסינו, עברו מצרים יענקו יבורך, אז כל הלומדים, אז כל האויסקים, להר בו, את בלי מוציפר אחו אס חיים, דף היוי מבעלוכה. שהקודש ברוך הוא יעזור, שגם הנוהל הסדיר שהוא, בראשם הרב רב דוב ודוב שטסר, שהם יזכו להמשיך את המפעל הקדוש הזה, עם בריאות ואוהב שמחה ונחס, וכן יזכו כל הלומדים, וכל האויסקים, ועזר השם, בסייעתא דשמיא, לזכות להיכתב ולהיכתן בכסיב ויחסים את אויבי. הקודש ברוך הוא ימה לכל משל אסליבום, ליבנו לטויבו ולברוכו, בסוך שאר אחינו בייס ישראל ונאמר אמן. When Rabbi Yasha was 93 years old, he suffered of an aneurysm and required a very delicate and very dangerous surgery. A team of doctors were flown in from America and when the surgeon entered the operating room, he noticed Rabbi Yasha looked very worried and unsettled. So he stepped out and he asked an Askin to tell Rabbi Yasha in his name that he shouldn't worry, he's very confident the surgery will be successful. When the Askin entered the operating room, indeed Rabbi Yasha looked very uneasy. But he was wearing a oxygen mask and could not communicate. So he asked, should he remove the mask? And Rabbi Yasha nodded in approval. As soon as he removed the mask, Rabbi Yasha started saying Krishna. And then he realized, the Rabbi Yashiv realized that this would be the only time to say Krishna. And Allah says, ideally, Krishna should be mashmiya la'oznav, it should be audible. And when a person is wearing a oxygen mask, he can't hear it. And as soon as he finished Krishna, he replaced the mask, and Rabbi Yashiv was completely calm and went into surgery. And then the Askin and all of Klayasol learned a profound lesson. Rabbi Yashiv, it wasn't the fear of his prognosis. It was a devotion to Dvar Hashem Zuhalacha. It was a fear 
to be unable to fulfill every nuance of halacha, albeit just the lachatchila. And I heard this incredible story. I was reminded of a Gemara Menachis Daf Yud Ches, where the Gemara says Yosva Bavli was learning in front of his Rebbe Rabbi Lazib and Shemua, and he asked the Mishaila, and the Rebbe said Kasha, but he was uncomfortable with the answer. And he asked again for three different times, and finally the Rebbe says, "Well, it's Kasha, but the Rebbe holds puzzle." And suddenly, this Yosva Bavli's face started to illuminate and started to shine. And the Rebbe was surprised, like, what happened? Why were you uneasy till now? So he explained, I thought that I had forgotten the shita, because I remember someone said puzzle, and Rebbe kept saying kasha, as if there's no machlaikis. Now I see I have the sugya. Says the Gemara that the Rebbe of Elizabeth and Shemua started crying. And he said, And he said on him the Pasuk, How fortunate are you, my Talmud, you live in this Olam HaToyra, that one halacha, or no, one opinion, which is not even normative halacha, brings you such satisfaction and simcha. Because that's part of the world of Kiheim Chayenu. But the truth is, that's an actually a pasuk in Tehillim. Sos anoichi alim rosecha, kemoitze shalal rov, as if I found a great treasure. And Rashi says, al achas mi imro yisecha. One halacha is so gratifying and so satisfying, like you found the greatest treasure. The Vilna Goyen's son in the Agdama, Tishnois Eliyo in Mishnayis, describes his father's superhuman amelus Yegiyah Betoira, the effort that he exerted for every sugya, la suki shmaitz alib dehilchasa. And then he writes, and I quote, and when he finally came to the end of the sugya, la halacha, tzavu panav mi mor sheba, v'loi achal kame yomem erev tzalosai. He was so ecstatic, he couldn't eat for days. And we wonder, the Vilna Goy who gave new meaning to kala terakula, who redefined the word kalatayra kula. And one halacha gave him such simcha. You know, if a poor person finds a quarter on the floor, he feels great. But a multi-millionaire won't even bend down to pick up the quarter. But you know what the answer is? Because the guy knew it's not a quarter. It's billions of dollars. It's the dvar Hashem. Every halacha is kemoitzi shalol rov. The Goyim was living sasa noichi kimoitzi shalol rov. And this is the opportunity that we all have living in the Olam HaToyra. Today we see the fulfillment of the Navi Omos' promise. There will be a time that we are yearning, a thirst, an unquenchable thirst to the Dvar Hashem. Levakesh is Dvar Hashem. Leirov lo lechem v'loitzom olamayim ki im lishmoyes divrei Hashem. Today, we're living in a world we're privileged to see people searching for that shalol rov, yearning for a life of ashreichem tamide chachamim. And daf yoimi bahalacha is helping Klal Yisrael realize that dream and satisfying that desire and quenching that thirst. It's bringing the Dvar Hashem zu halacha to every single year on every single level. It's showing us that we could also live sasa noichi alim rasecha, and especially now dava beitoy matoiv. We're learning hilchasukah. It's appropriate for the time we're in. It's a wonderful connection that will continue to inspire us as we start the new machzer miyateshem in other aleph, and it's bringing us closer to the day that we so anxiously wait for. Umala aretz deyas Hashem kamayim layam mechasim. The Meheira Viamenu Amen. Oh, 
Bravo y Seculán viaja. Tiriró. Balabatim, Fatux, Halbwegs, andere Wegs, zu andere Welten ganzen. Jesche, no Eiseg, Belimen hat Teuro, Bevias Goyal, Bim Hera, wie Ameno, Amen. Kapitän auf dem Fahrrad gewinnen. Lass euch mit dem Rei teurer. Schma Israel, Adonai, Eloyenu, Adonai, Echad. We thank you all for listening and let us together, Ki'ish Echod Belev Echod, 
make this an evening of true inspiration, and in that schos will be zaycha to aksiva v'chasima toiva lanu uchal Yisrael. Amen v'amen.